I said I would I said I would do a um, CD review. Here I am. Actually, let me put on the hat so there's some difference. I made my bed. There's, I'll put on the hat so there's some difference between the update and um, the review. I'm so French. Okay. <gasps> Okay, I should actually show you how I organize. I don't know how to switch this. Um, so, basically, actually, you know what? These are two. Okay. I have them like this. Um, that's not center. This, so, whenever I have these, they're two separate sides, right? It's organized. These two are um, actual, like, vocal albums like these are more like musicians who sing and stuff like that um then this is what is this this is more like opera um and then the, oh you don't see it that's better Push it back. okay and then this section is all the albums i haven't listened to yet um over here this is house music this is jazz um, this is like ominous, ambient, like, you know, that. This, and this is classical music. Definitely not going to go through all of these because some of them I really don't give a fuck about. But I'll start here. So, let me look at some of them. What is this one? Okay. I'll just do two, I'll do two from the house. Um, I really should have thought this through. Okay, so I have Global Groove, DJ Alex Losterstein, Foot, Feel My Drums. This is really fun. It's one of the first ones I got um, moving to the city. Um, I really, I wanted to start with like house DJ music, like older, retro stuff because I wanted to get I want to get into the underground scene and I just want to hear like I'm really into house music I just want to I want to I don't know I think I think it's fun I want to hear club mixes from the past um like actual dance bump 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 club mixes I'm gonna move that because I'm a little warm okay and then I lied. This is the second one. This is the first CD I got moving to the city. It is Best of House Meet Volume 2 Prog Progressive House. I love judging CDs by their covers. Um, that's a big factor of the ones I get when it is not when it does not involve like vocals. This one was really fun. I love the CD art. Really fun. Uh, it's a fun album, groovy album. Uh, it's not groovy. I don't remember what this album sounds like, um, <laughs> but I do know if I still kept it, I liked it. Um, so for sure, love this. I I do know I like it a lot. I actually do like this album. Um, I'm not gonna tell you to listen to any of these albums unless I really do mean it. If that, if that makes sense. Um, but I love the. I like these albums a lot. I, I I would listen to these again, and I have listened to these most, like twice, like more than once. Okay. Um. Now to the jazz. Also, I have my whatever. Um. Now to the jazz. I'm so. You know what? I'm not. I'm not actually of the jazz. Okay. This will be fun. I have multiple jazz albums. Um. And, but I'm really, there's this Acid As Jazz Volume 6, The Golden Age of Groove. This is fun. It's a yellow album. I love the stars. I got this album because of the yellow and the stars. The stars really sell the album. And Acid Jazz really did um, intrigue me. And it's a good album. I do enjoy it. I just don't listen. Jazz is a very specific, uh, like, time. Um, and then I'm going to review all of these three at once. We've got Joe Cool's Blues, Charlie Brown, 
Wynton Marsalis and Ellis Marsalis. It's not Vince Garaldi, like the original. Is it Vince or Vincent? Oh my gosh, Sarah, stop. Um, but it's a really cute. I love this. It's it's fun. I love Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown's music I feel is underrated. Um, it's really jazzy. It's really like you know, it's it's a, it's a fun album. It's playful. This one is Vince. I was right. Vince Garaldi, a Charlie Brown Christmas. I love Christmas Time Is Here. I think that's one of my favorite Christmas songs. Um, and because it just has Charlie Brown's Christmas, I think Christmas Time Is Here is on here. Um, skating's really good. I do like skating and Linus and Lucy. Who doesn't like Linus and Lucy? Um, I'm looking at the time. This is gonna be like a 15 minute long video. Um, and not only do we have the vocal, they also have the instrumental of Christmas Time Is Year here. I should look that up. I wonder if I can mix that. So fun. This is the first. This one is the. This next one is the first Charlie Brown CD I got. Um, it's actually it's a it's a it's part of the handful of the actual first ones I started collecting. I know how I got this. I remember everything about this. This is Dave Brubrick, Brubrick Cried as a Moon. It's a fun CD. It's not that crazy. Like I've listened to it once or twice. I'm, I wouldn't be like, oh, this album's so good. I love it. I would recommend it. It's it's a fun album. Um, definitely coming apart. Oh my gosh. I stole these. So I got this album at an estate sale. Wait, what's the two ace cards? Love. And it was a it was a big ass house. Um, the guy who owned it passed he was an artist he was a writer i i think i have one i took i bought one of his notepads and i, I have it in my like chest of memorabilia because i just think it's like i want his art to live on um because he, he was like a writer of plays it was very like act one act two and it was really i liked it um so this is this is from his um this is this is how i got the cd and then that's all the jazz cds i want to share so don't give a fuck. Um, now on to the moody ones. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna go with four. Okay, let's we'll start with the really fun ones. Um, so there's this one's my favorite of the the little section. It's Ryuchi Sakamoto's "Love Is the Devil." I don't think I have to explain to you. Let me move my yoga mat up. It's hard, this hardwood's hard on my knees. I don't think I have to explain to you why I have this CD, why I took this CD. The, the, the name is enticing. The art of the CD is just pure seduction. Like, it, like I saw this and I was like, this is coming home. I, I have to listen to this. And I remember the energy I got from this album, what it sounds like, because it was just like, it's very, Sarah, stop it. I swear to God, I'm gonna give you up. Um, I'm joking, I would never. Um, it's very like perfume ge genius and ugly season. Like it, it, it gives me that like, ooh, skin crawling. It's really, it's like, I don't wanna say it's demonic, but it's menacing, it's ominous. It's like, like strong. That's fine. And then there's Space Time Continuum by Amit Escape. And this one's fun. It's uh it's a it's a it's very similar to Love is the Devil. Um that's what the CD looks like. It's just not as Craig Craig. Are you eating plastic? No, he's not. <laughs> it's not as it's not as cuckoo crazy. It is along the same lines of uh Ryuchi's. But it's a fun album. I mean, I have it for a reason. This one, actually no. Then to like switch it, we have Yanni's Port of Mystery. I've listened to this one once. Um, really calming, really fun. It's more ambient. I think he does sing in this, but it's more like, ooh, you know? And then this one is Andreas Fallen Wider, Caverna Magica, Under the Tree in the Cave. This is very, this is ambient music. It's really good, I like it. The album cover is why I took it. This is why I got it. What's the CD look like? Simple CD, like typical, like whatever. Um, but this is a fun CD. And then, da, 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 da. that's all that I wanna share on that one. 
I am not going to, actually I will. Of the classical music, there's really only, there, three. There's, no, there's two. Two that really stood out that I, re I remember of the couple. So there's Yo-Yo Ma, Music That Matters to Him. It's this really pretty trifold. Um, it's really nice. He's got the cello. It's, it's a good, it's nice. All I can say about this is that it's nice. I like, uh, I like the design. It's, 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 it's very chic. Then this one, this one she really went off. Nana Moscori Concierto and Aranjuez. This is, I mean, this is why I got it. This is, this is why I got it. Um, it's really cute. Love, like, come on. And I, I like that she took the typical um, CD design, but she added some color to it at least. Like, I'll give her props for that. Um, and I'll do like the actual artist last. Of the ones I haven't listened to, I have, I have a couple. You know what, I'll actually just go through all of them because it's fun. So I'll start off really strong. Um, I have, <laughs> I have Whoopi Goldberg, Sister Act One, and then Whoopi Goldberg, Sister Act Two, Back in the Habit. I got these at two, two separate times. One came in and then a couple months later the other one came in and I just had to take it. I had to take it. Cause like, I've never seen these movies, but I did not explain myself on that. And then I have Beautiful Things, music inspired by the movie. I've never seen this movie, but I think, I think as a, I think it's queer. I think it's enticing. I think it's interesting. Um, I like the CD. I never showed, um, have yet to listen to this, but I think it, I thought it was worth getting, taking. Ooh, playful album. That's the second one. Ah, uh, it's all right. That's the first one, okay. Then I have, this is so not me, literally so not me. This is supposed to be a gift. It's moody though. I got to Venus and back Toriyamas. I like it, trifold. You know, what's the CDs look like? Ooh, it's a pretty purple. I have nothing to say about this album. And the other one is, okay. So. Nothing, no comments. Um, I have a film by Jarek Harmon, Blue. This reminded me of, oh my gosh, that one director who had had that trilogy of like blue, red, white. Or is it blue, red, green? You know what? Those who know, know. Uh, my Destiny Childs, this is the remix. I just, I have this because I know back in the 2000s, remixes actually kind of were remixes. Like there were new, there were new verses. Like I love that we got that with um, Girl, You're So Confusing. Like that's, that is a remix. You know what I mean? Like I, throwing a house beat on um, uh, a, a typical song isn't a remix to me. You're just mixing music. Um, but yeah, haven't li I think I listened, gave this a chance and I'm, I was like, let me put this back. I don't want this. Um, I have the Lost in Translation soundtrack. I, this came in and I was like, I'm not gonna not get it. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't seen the movie. I do have the movie. Um, but I'm just like, oh my fucking God. They played me so hard. I, I haven't opened this. Oh, <laughs> the actual CDs, the Aluminum Group Happiness. Gag. Okay. Um, not listening to this ever. Keeping it. No, I may not even keep it. I have this one CD called Electronic. I will probably never listen to this if I'm honest. Don't care. 
This other one I would probably listen to, it's, um, Flan, oh, uh, hand, hand, oh, hand job community. I got it because of the CD cover. That's all. Like, that's cute, but I have no idea. I don't even think it's gonna sound like it's gonna be the sound I want, but it doesn't hurt to give something a try. Now, the final four that I actually am like, I'm excited to listen to, but I have Bjork, Family Tree, The Greatest Hits as chosen by Bjork. And then I also have Bjork Homogenic. I know someone who is really heavily into Bjork and from the ones that they shared with me, I really like it. So I was just like, I have to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these. And then I have Lenny Kravitz, Are You Gonna Go My Way? He's a sexy man. I, ooh, and a sexy seat. D. Look at that. Yeah. I got this because like his style. I from photos that I've seen of him really inspire me. I'm like, oh, that's a sexy way you wear jeans. This is the last one I got. Um, there's no name. I think it's house music. I think it's interesting. I I I want. It. It's interesting. I'm gonna give it, this will be the next one I try out. Sorry, do not knock this mirror over. Okay, time for um, the actual seat. Oh, I have a gag one, like a little like gag gift. I have Schoolhouse American Rock. So, need not explain. I'm gonna speed run these ones. I have Amplified Heart. I got this because it looks so cute. I thought this was a boy. No boy. The Russo, I got this because the album. This is a gem. This is a gem. It's sexy, it's dance, it's 2000s R&B French like club music. It's fun. Some of my favorite is Habibi. I love Habibi. And then there's, um, Dans la nuit. That's a fun one. Um, Habibi is the standout. So, I have Etta James love songs. No explanation. No explanation. Shakira. Fijon Ora Volume One. I have. This is unopened. This is. I. This is my favorite one. This is the first album that introduced me to the discography of Florence. This is this is what, this is the introduction for me um, outside of Dog Days, but, but no, this was my introduction album. This holds a special place in my heart. I've got Crushing by Julia Jacqueline. I remember this time in my life. This was a, this was a very vulnerable and dark time. I love it. I love the album. I love, Body, I, Body is such a great way to open the album. I think my favorite track is Turn Me Down. There's just something about the bridge, the very end that I really just resonate with, with my my upbringing. Now the follow-up pre-pleasure. I, I, okay, I bought this. This was a, I bought this and the vinyl. Um, Spotify exclusive pink vinyl, purple vinyl. I don't have a vinyl player, I don't open it. This is unopened. It's fun, I really like, I like the album cover. This is what got me. Um, I think my favorite one, what is my favorite one? I think my favorite one is Ignore, ignore Tenderness. Or, yeah, yeah. No, End of a Friendship. I love End of a Friendship. This one I got because he's sexy, simply put. And this is a fun album. I do remember it's a good album. I like this album and it's just a sexy album. He's sexy. I got this one. I know about Gloria. Um, it, so that's why I got it. Gloria, Gloria Estefan, in my first job, it was in a Mexican restaurant, family owned Mexican restaurant. So, you know, they, 
No. I, that's how I discovered Gloria Estefan. So this is fun, it's very dance, very dance. I have Billie Holiday, ladies, ladies decade. No explanation. I got this one because I had a moment with this album, this next one, I had a moment with this album. It was good. Also, it's, it's a classic album. I've, Carol King Tapestry. You know, it's a classic album. Um, I Feel the Earth Move. Beautiful really makes me smile. Uh, beautiful, comma, it really makes me smile. You make me feel like a natural room. Like this is, is, this is a classic album. You know what I mean? Everyone knows at least one song off this album. I got Beck, I actually fucking hate this. I'm getting rid of this one. I listened to it recently, I did not like it. Like, oh, we listened to this last night. Didn't even get past the first track. I do like, I got this cause the CD, look at that. It's like slightly engraved, cool. It's fun. Maybe you can see Sarah. That's my cat. Hi, baby. My cat, the boy cat, baby Sarah. Now on the last half of CDs, this one's fun. This one's more like. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Okay. I have Le Groove Left Bank. There's uh, this song is a playlist on Spotify. So if you want to give it a listen. It's fun, it's playful, it's just French jazz. Um, there's this one song that really stood out to me in the beginning that made me really stay. It's called Les Seigneurs. I don't remember who the front by. But Les La Seigneurs is really fun, it's jazzy. I have Pink Martini, Hey Eugene. This is a good one, it's playful. Um, I have Ocean Boulevard. That one, that version. This is a good, this was a really good album. There, this specific time in my life was really sweet, was really playful. Like I experienced love with this album. Like when this album, when I was listening to this album, I was in love. Um, I have this one, this one's cunt, this one's so slay. This is by, this is Pizzicato 5, remix album, Happy End of You. I should listen to this again because I do remember this fun stuff and I can mix this stuff. It's fun, it's playful, it's so cool. It's like this, I think, I don't, I, I saw this <coughs> and was like, I gotta get it. This one is fun, it's called The Brand New Heavies, Rare Grooves, Remixes, and Excursions. This one's groovy, I like this one a lot. Uh, Mind Trap is fun. Brother and Sister, The Angel Remix is really good. Oh, Foo Foo. Like, this is a fun album. It's groovy. It's great. It's fun. And then uh, to complete the discography, I have Julia Jacklin's Don't Let the Kids Win. I love this album cover. It's so fun. She, she really knows how to make an album cover. If you have a good album cover, you've got me hooked. Um, Pool Party is really good. Uh, same airport, different man. I have to stretch my back out. Um, Sweet Step is my favorite one off the album. Sweet Step. I have the fame, fame, giving it up for the fame. As a gay man, I should have the CD if I have a CD collection, period. It's a good album. I have She Him Classics. Why don't you sit down with me? Cute, like, tweet. Actually, I'm gonna save this one for one of the best. I a uh, fucking this is this is a lot of the first. This is part of the first group of CDs like, that started my collection. I've got Win the Pawn. Should I say the entire album cover for you guys? When the pawn hits the conflicts, he thinks like a king. What he knows throws the blows when he goes to the fight. And he'll win the whole thing for when he enters the ring, there no body to batter when you mind, your, when your mind is your might. So when you go solo, you hold your own hand. And remember that death is the greatest of heights. And if you know where you stand, then you know where you land. And as if you fall, it won't matter because you know that you're right. My favorites off this one is a mistake. Get Gone, Paper Bag. This album's good, this album's good. I've got Tidal. This album's not as good, period. Um, I, it opens strong, love the CD cover. 
I love Sleep to Dream. Shadow Box is really good. This Criminal, Slow Like Honey of First Types. Everything I said is a lie. This album's good. I just don't like, like... I like six out of the 10 songs on this album. This is fun. I have Extraordinary Machine. What is this one? This is a double feature. How the fuck do I open this? Okay. I have two CDs of this. Uh, I have a Fiona Apple, This Side Up, the CD of Extraordinary D Machine, and then I have Extraordinary Sh Machine DVD. So I don't know what that means. There he is, he's looking at the window, but it's fun. I had to get it. Uh, I love having multiples of the albums. I really don't give a fuck. And then I have the CD. Love, this album is really good. Um, get Him Back, Temps is really fun. Window, I remember having a moment. All Well, Please, 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 Not About Love. Not About Love is one of my favorites. Um, I really wish she screamed, and she needs to re-record that so she can scream like she does in um, live, for, live performances. This was a gift, this is a souvenir from Las Vegas from a friend. Love. Love. You know, I have Blue Banisters, one of my favorites. Unopened. That's all. Okay, now for my two signed CDs. This one I bought, Swing, Claro. This album was such a healing process for me. This album is really important um, to me, just like Highest Hope. I love this album. This was such a transformative time of my life. Um, I have the album uh, named, uh, tat I tattooed the album name on me. I'm not gonna open this. I love this. This is a treasure of mine. Um, bought this off Depop. So. And then this one was donated. When, when I saw that this was donated, I was like, are you fucking stupid? This is Nelly Furtado's Like a Bird. Is that what this is called? Oh, Whoa Nelly. Why would you donate a signed CD of Nelly Furtado? Um, and this is a good album, like fuck off. Like on the radio, Legend, I really like Legend. Turn Off the Lights, Party. I Will Make You Cry is one of the best ones, so. Um, and it's total. I don't want to talk about anymore. I just talked about the ones that really stood out to me. Um, oh my God. No, I didn't. I missed two. These are one of my top. These are also, these are the most recent ones I got. These are one of the top ones I like. Um, we've got Utaba Hikaru's Bad Mood. This is such a good album. I'm not a K-pop, J-pop listener. Um, she holds a special place in my heart because I grew up with Kingdom Hearts. Um, and this album, I remember specific, thick fucking album. This is not, not your regular CD. Um, it's so cute. She wrote her name, like, she didn't sign this, but like, she clearly, this is her uh, writing. Like, her. Writing? It's a good album. I like this, AG Cook's on it. Um, that's how I got introduced to this album. So cute. This is really my life at the moment. This is who I'm embodying. This is FKA Twigs, Capri Songs. I'm a Capricorn. Um, love. I love this album. So cute. The CD, the CD is my favorite. This is how you make a fucking CD. So that's all. My favorite's off this track, all of it. Um, the next one I do want to get, the next one is definitely Yay G's With A Hammer. I know what her CD looks like. That's how you design a CD. Like it's a good album. It's it's really along the lines of Capri songs as well as like Sling. It's very like re retrospective and like good. So. That's on Estoro. Um, this is my th first 30 minute video and I don't care. 
I'm about to lay on my stomach to stretch my back. So, okay. Mwah.